sit uh, right next to you. Okay. Hey, bye guys. Uh, we're, we will be doing quite uh, something different than we did before. Uh, you guys can see on the screen Albert and Tom, I guess. Okay. Bye. I will just do the I will just do the draw from the giveaway for the guys online. Right. And the giveaway. The winner of the T-shirt from the from Asus is Rumble. Exia Maranta. <laughs> yeah. Man. Way to do. Way to get these. Man. Congratulations. Oh boy, hey, my, my, my nose is actually getting fucked. I don't know if that is information I really needed. Yeah, not at this moment. Oh, sorry. We, sh we should ask where some people get their nicknames from. Because some are like yeah. really hard to pronounce. Maybe it's just random bash on the keyboard. <laughs> Usually has like a reason, but so uh, can you guys uh, introduce yourself? <laughs> Somebody's already asking for dating. No, we're actually just <laughs> waiting for Truthman to sit yeah. over here. And uh, we know it's, it looks like yeah, kind of bro kinda, love thing, but there's yeah. still like a third person sitting down in the couch, it's not that big. So <laughs> I moved already a little bit closer to Tom. No, yeah, nothing going on, man. Oops. Don't fantasize, don't uh, think. Uh, yeah, no. Nah, no, nah, no I, nah, I don't want to even nah, imagine. No, no, no. I snore, he snores even louder, so it doesn't <laughs> match. That does not work. So actually, the, the uh, easiest t-shirt we just gave away looked like this in the front and like this in the back. They actually look quite cool. I like, yeah. I like the design they did yeah, in, uh, it's cool. like in the back. That's from the same design they had for the uh, ROG t-shirt on uh, Formula and Extreme Conditions. Okay. Okay. So... This is more like the relaxed way of doing things. But give me some space. I'm not saying you're fat, but you take a lot of space. My Twitch TV handle, it's uh, B is for Battlefield. So here we go. That's the more relaxed portion of the day. It's uh, 2250. So that means we're gonna. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm, 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 I have to do, I have to do this. That yeah, was okay. really good. <laughs> <game. laughs> so that's wait, even worse. Yeah, just do this, man. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, that's so, not that uh, bad. I, ca I can't actually see the screen because the camera is in front of me. <laughs> 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 uh, so, guys, we can see the live chat from where we are. Um, just let us, uh, just ask us any questions. Uh, I will start um, by asking you guys, what was the best thing you saw during the Computex? Um, Hmm. Your call. What is the best thing? It has thing to be computer related, not like nice buildings or, 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 uh, that, yeah, or good uh, food or uh, yeah, pretty much booth babes. <laughs> <laughs> um, what was the best thing I saw at Computex? It's actually a really good question. Um, Tricky one then. Yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> I like the. That means there's I, a lot to choose from. I, I, I like the. Um, the new DirectCU 3 design from, from Asus for the 980 Ti. Yep. Uh, that looks like a pretty decent cooler. I also like what EVJ did with the Kingpin edition of the 980 Ti. Um, and that they're actually bringing out like a hybrid water cooled version of the Titan X, uh, which kind of surprised me a little bit because usually Nvidia is like really strict about cooler design with their Titan cards. But other than that, well, Broadwell wasn't as amazing as I had hoped. So it was I'm, a major bummer. Yeah. So well, I'm for looking. They, they, you went to the, uh, to the interview. The like benchmarking suit. Yeah. Um, I actually wanted to, but then I found out that my colleague back in Germany already had the same bench as you for benchmarks already, and he could spend like a week with it to bench and so my 30 minutes weren't probably going to bring any new insights or whatever. Uh, actually I did one there that uh, we were testing the product, the um, i7-5775C. Yeah. Um, was not that impressed, like the maybe three persons. Yeah, yeah, overall. A little, a little um, more energy yeah. efficient. 
and the uh, although you have to remind that uh, I think you have the same talk with Francois uh, Intelis was pretty clear at it's the 14 nanometer process yeah. for the for the CPU but they, they were really saying that guys the overclocking is limited to 4.2 basically that was the limitation that's not the problem of the the, the new system that's more uh, the design yeah. or architecture of the, of the CPUs right and I would love to actually do a better um, um, discussion about that with the guys from, from like Francois the guys from Intel explaining why because when you have like a mobile architecture you push that to the desktop it's it's a little bit different in, in mobile you don't overclock anything right? yeah. you just have you find one power that's usually the power from the batteries that right. is a filter out and then you just power everything with that while in the overclocking we have a few of settings yeah. that we really want to play with so. So there was uh, some, uh, so yeah, uh, I actually want to wait for Skylake rather than Bubble. Yeah, me too. And I will already announce that name. Uh, uh, we're, I don't think we're violating any, any NDAs. I didn't sign any, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> I hope not. So well, I, the, I the upcoming Nix generation uh, core, uh, the upcoming Nix core generation core of Intel CP Core i CPUs. You did read the paper. Yeah. I don't know if I can go up the chat though. Oh yeah, I can. Uh, there was someone asking um, because I made a joke about the <laughs> the, the booth babes. Uh, were there a dancing Asian dancing girl at this expo? Yes. Yes. yes way too much. Definitely. <laughs> And there was also Asian guys with big, uh, big um, cameras. Yeah, yeah. Please finish your sentence. <laughs> uh, yeah, taking a um, taking a close look at the booth babes. Yeah, a very close look. So the, the ones with the big rounded thing for yeah. the light. Yeah, they, they really took advantage of, of their, their yeah. position. Yeah, <laughs> it's was, always it was like this. When for, was the, quite, for the past seven years, and coming here to this uh, to this event at, at the Computex, they always have like photographers that just come from. Here. Yeah. yeah. So always, the, the, the guys just do that all, all, all day. Right. But it's more like part of the show. And they go like, it's like oh, I, I can't take pictures of girls on other occasions, like yeah. every other 350 something days of the year. But also the boot babe, they, they, they ask for the pictures. They want to see the shots that they took. Yeah. And if they don't like it, they're starting to pose again because they right. want to have like the, the, the perfect shoes. Yeah, it, it, it's like that. It seems a bit out of place indeed, but why not at computers? Why does it only need to be associated with fast cars or something? It can be perfectly. And it attracts it's pro people. Probably it's because, you know, computers is mainly a guy's thing and guys like, well, fast cars and girls, so... But look at Asus. They had like male models as well to present the new, new, new stuff. Oh, actually, I didn't, I, I didn't... You didn't, you didn't pay attention to that? No. So see, you didn't sell it. No, I <laughs> didn't saw sensation. No, I did, yes, I did saw sensation. Yeah, they were like three, oh yeah, right. They were right, three, right when they showed the tablet. The tablet like and a, phone. So, so right, they did like a, a a unisex thing. Yeah. So nice girls and yeah, apparently also nice guys because the girl next to me turned like all red. So, but, but, but it's but interesting that you're saying well nice guys because I wasn't really noticing the guy at all. So now, now that you're telling me well oh yeah right there was a they, guy but I couldn't tell you that if like if it was actually a nice guy. Ah, don't you know. Come on. <laughs> you know, Come I'm just, on. I'm just yeah, yanking your yeah, chain. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. That, it, my chain is okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I got 55 said, I was expecting something else, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, if you want to know more about what we had, uh, what we saw during the past week here at Computex, uh, yeah, indeed, we won't, so we won't show you the behind the scene of the dancing booth page. I don't. Some someone thought that it's against Twitch, but I don't think that's 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 why it's uh, it's just yeah. that it's, it's useless. It's not relevant to the uh, to the content anyway. Uh, there's some que some guys. Uh, Bharat Mataki Chai is asking an interview from the team India. Uh, actually, they they were benching not long yeah. ago. Yeah, they're they're like testing. Uh, they bought like two CPUs here. And, uh, <laughs> you mean next corner in the PC market? Yeah, two of this board. In, in which one of the I don't thousand know. shops? <laughs> yeah, and, then, and apparently the one they're running right on right now is already like pretty good. So maybe we will have some news like a little bit later on about that one. And, and if 
the guy is still available or watching, maybe we can invite them over because they're like quite fun guys as well. Yeah, actually, uh, and they, they flew in just for this event. They didn't yeah, even yeah. came for Computex. They Computex, no need. No need. Yeah. <laughs> Benching. Just want, just want to bench. Yeah, maybe true. There were some uh, remarks from Hunter WS. Uh, hey, look, Didier for memory. Oh, and a girl in bikini. Yeah. So that's pretty much how that happened with the boost table. Yeah, 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 pretty much. Indeed. Like, they, they, they put this under. Under cover girls like showing a product like this, yeah. or like this, like usually close to here, yeah. around here, <laughs> around chest area. To be honest, yeah. it was fun when I was maybe like five years ago. Yeah, but you get just get bored. You get used to it. Excuse me, I told you, I think I had like one picture, and actually it's not even on my uh, on my I've camera, yeah. just because I saw someone taking a picture of the event uh, passed by uh, in the back, and I just photo on the picture. I was like, <laughs> But it's also changing because uh, we used to post that as well on the website and usually we had like that post and it says, oh that's a nice girl and now the viewers or the readers are like, why didn't you take any more pictures about the hardware? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we were usually just included. So like, now people what? are bitching that you don't even yeah. do that booth big pictures? Yeah, 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 yeah. really, it, 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 I, stuff changes, it's nothing to do with it. It's not really a sexist thing, but indeed it's still part of this show that, that it, it just Lighten up the products yeah. with some nice looking girls. No problem. Uh, I, I found the most interesting thing for me, in fact, was I was really surprised and it doesn't really relate it to components. <laughs> I'm thinking about something. That would be fun to ask the girl to take a picture of you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would be nice. I think she would be surprised. Yeah. <laughs> it could be she throws her camera away. <laughs> but the question is, like, does, does she understand English? Yeah, that, yeah, that's all that yeah, 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 yeah. And, and my Mandarin uh, really sucks. Yeah, I mean, it, it really sucks in, in a way that, yeah, I don't speak it. <laughs> Except <laughs> like, for, like, you thank you and to do hello. sign language stuff, like, me. Yeah. And then you think <laughs> but, that. but I think you have to be careful in Taiwan with sign language, because I think there's, you know, certain gestures that mean certain stuff in Europe or in the United yeah. States, and they might mean something different here. Well, I think this one like, is pretty universal, then. <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> okay. Um, what else did you guys saw during this week that was interesting for you? Like, not, not especially other related, but more, um, did you have some special food? Did you have some... But oh, no one's no. at least great night out. I think you had the most beneficial one yesterday, where you ate like these oh, gigantic yeah, yeah, steaks. steaks. Like yeah. what? Yeah, actually, the one we we actually missed because we were actually here, here. Yeah. preparing stuff, preparing stuff, and it's very late in the night. Um, I saw some picture. You had a piece of steak like as big as your head. So yeah, what? pretty much. Yeah, it was like what seven hundred fifty grams. Something. Uh, six hundred. Fish. Oh, damn. <laughs> And it was really tender. That's a nice question there. Yeah. From uh, Papers, or how should I pronounce it? <laughs> we haven't seen Ian do it, but we have seen Splave do it last year. Yeah, Splave did it. Yeah. They had to do, I might make the story a little bit short, they had to bend to like a low end graphics card. And uh, due to the voltage issue on the card, so they like modded the card. And at a certain moment, the vendor who provided the card one of the cards back so you have to like remove or unsolder everything and yeah. said like this is not happening man like it's such a low end budget card but right. what should I do and he just took the card and just broke it on his head like it was like a piece of wood and yeah it's not because people are angry usually we just shut down and go somewhere else well, well, well it like was angry <laughs> yeah like kidding you, you think if you just kill four titanics you pay from your old bucket it's like four thousand euros man yeah but he was angry so they just uh, leave everything there. Go away. Just, just Go they away. went out, they went for a walk, they went around and yeah. didn't think about that. Came back in the evening, chilled on everything. And there maybe there is one of the GTX that is still alive. They're all repaired. Well when they just had they were like ah, checking and so on and they, <laughs> they try to fix it and so on and yeah. Uh, <laughs> It happens. <coughs> I've also seen at long events that, that some people just throw their headset through the the place. Like, yeah. what? Where did that come from? Well, I could have thrown like a c complete rig this morning after two days trying to get all the things yeah. work together. I think you were ready to put your foot in. <coughs> yeah, exactly. It was like uh, over the top. I, I can sometimes, yeah, frustration can get you to do like weird stuff. Okay. Yeah, El Gapo, man. Yeah, true. But we're not. 
very <laughs> big guy, so I think it's okay. It's yeah, okay. I get what we're saying that, that that's some mighty small stuff. Yeah, that no, I think nobody of us can just sleep in it. We have to do that really. Yeah, yeah, I think it's, it's, it's nearly impossible. Like you know that magic trick where the magician cuts a girl in half. Like if somebody would do that with me, then I could probably fit on that couch yeah. and stack, <laughs> chop it over here yeah. till there, yeah, and then right. it just fit. Yeah, could be, could be, could be. Oh boy! I keep on uh, asking any question, guys. I hope that the sound is correct. I know there's uh, some background noise here, and that might be uh, a little bit, uh, you know, echoing at yeah. some points, but. We want to try to do more stuff like this to be more relaxed. Uh, Peter, do you want to jump in? Like say hello to the people. <laughs> yeah, you can do like a crossover maybe. Right, you could, you know, no, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. That's the only way you can fit in, man, on the sofa. Hey guys, uh, are you hungry? Because there's pizza yeah. that we brought. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. Yeah, definitely. It's pretty, uh, it's almost done, so you guys should just wrap it up and come and eat pizza. Okay. We just started. Yeah. So let's do a vote. Who wants these guys to go and eat pizza? <laughs> nobody. Probably nobody. <laughs> Probably nobody. <laughs> He'll be like, no. <laughs> oh, silence is golden. Look at that. All that. you guys do is eat. Really? <laughs> you just take a short break. It's not eating. It's like what? <laughs> Pizza's always nice. Yeah. <laughs> I won't make it too tight. <laughs> yeah, actually, uh, Julius. Last time we were doing oh, yeah, the live. Yeah, that was actually at the uh, early like guys a slice of pizza. Yeah, we can show them Taiwanese pizza. Yeah, we can what do that. Like. <laughs> so yeah, Julius say I truth. I won't make it to Taipei because a, a month ago it was uh, we're in Germany for an event yeah. that you organized actually with Missing about where in Asia. Right. Um, and he was actually in the country next to that, like 200 kilometers away. So okay. Europe is pretty quiet; it's quite close to, to each other. And then turn out that it's actually show up at the event like this. Oh man, from Alicant. That's what we were yeah, yesterday. So guys, you're gonna see the kind of pizza we'll be eating tonight. Oh, um, that's that looks good. By, uh, I'm going, going to pass them around. No, pull it, pull it into the camera, right? Yeah. That's a special pizza. It's actually, uh, yeah. good pizzas. So indeed, man, take insider. Indeed, we have some issues now, or we're getting more and more issues about. Uh, Let me hand over the time this to you. But I think most of us only went to bed until like five o'clock in the morning. Yeah. This time, and only we're getting up around eight, nine is because we have a lot of meetings to attend to, and indeed, yeah. But it's a way of living. That's also why it's good that Complex is only like four or five days. True. And probably we'll like snore on on the aircraft and annoy all the other passengers but that's the way it is we have like a 16 what? hour flight to recover right. you guys so go back early next week huh? I'm leaving yeah. on Monday yeah. Yeah. I'm staying two more weeks so okay. Yeah, okay. To adapt. Yeah, yeah, cool for you but uh, yeah but it, it, this is the fun part uh, there's a lot more to do than just visiting Nangang itself there's a lot of stuff you can do and, and we hang out with the guys we're talking to one another the whole year through Skype forums, etc. Yeah. This is in fact a location where we can just meet and greet also with the people from the vendors, but usually for us it's more the, 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 the 30, 40 people which are present right now. Definitely. To just hang out with the guys and just talk computer stuff, but also just talk the daily the daily business. Oh, really fun. It's, a, it's a tight community in the end. I mean, we have a lot of drama yeah. every year. We always Over talking is drama in general. Usually, well, usually there will, there will be something going on at each event. Yeah. There's always, there's always, there's always stories. There's always um, people that don't like other people and so on. But so far here, it's always, it's always nice. Look like even right here on this couch, I don't, I, I only like one of the three persons sitting on this couch. Really, you have any special preference that maybe you're only liking yourself, probably. <laughs> I don't forget when the people ask me the questions, repeat the questions. Yeah, okay, the guys, cool. Because the, the guys are just, um, you know, listening in the background. Yeah. That is, uh, well, mainly read the live chat. <coughs> um, I went a bit too far up. Uh, the background noise is fine, it's not that loud. All we do is eat? No, it's not all That's we do. That's my job. It's like the, f this is the first meal of the day all I've the had day. today. Yeah. I haven't eaten anything all day. Usually we do like breakfast for champions, like some yeah. small sandwich from the 7 Eleven, so shops right. which are open 24 7. And these what are they? Cafe are... lattes, and then we like just go with them. You feel the heart like pumping yeah. because you only slept like two or three hours. You go and, and once you're at, the, at Nanga and, and, and the boots, you, 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 yeah, you just get your daily stuff. 
And that was a question um, for you, Tom. Uh, what was your highest overcut on memory? Do you remember? Um, I actually don't because I'm really bad with memory. I usually, like, plus I'm really unlucky with memory. I have literally no decent memory kit at all. They, no DDR3, no DDR4. They all suck. Actually, the, the kit I'm using tonight is the best I've I've had yet. You, and that's um, I'm running them at 1.510, ten, something like that. Anyway, I never remember my memory either because I have bad memory and there's way too many numbers in it. Yeah. But also, but it's, it's something that you have to like as well. Some people like Thank to you. do max frequency of processors yeah. or of memory, and I really don't don't see the point because usually you can't run them at anything. For example, max our, our um, team quarter. captain from PC Games Hardware, the, the team at HW Bot, um, uh, Hyper Horn is his, his nickname. You can look him up on on HW Bot if you like. He he really does like. Um, Memory is like his favorite thing to bench ever. There were some people saying for the World Tour 2016, big raclette and tartiflette at the OCRs. So that means uh, the guy is French. <laughs> or Swiss. Or Swiss, yeah. Oh, that's Lucas, yeah, yeah the, the guy is French. Uh, no, it's not Domino's Pizza, it's uh, Alice Cat. Uh, um, actually, there's two good pizzeria shops here in Taipei. Right. Alice Cat and Zoka Pizza. Okay. That's the two best ones uh, I, I went so far. And no, it's not a cooking show either. <laughs> there's someone saying, I think that was Transmeta even saying, OC means over calorie. <laughs> that could be true. could also mean overcooking. Overcooking. Over yeah. lot of, actually, a lot of people say, oh, yeah, what is this uh, overcooking thing? It's overclocking. Over but overcooking, yeah, you, you can do that every day. Yeah. <laughs> but usually, yeah, we. I, I usually gain a few kilograms here. Too much food, and, and for too the, much beer. For the technical side, yes, uh, uh, Alka 55. I think it's grilled or made in the wood oven. It's a wood oven. oven. Yeah, yeah, true. And that's actually crazy because it's so, so freaking warm inside the inside the place. So here outside it's like 35 to 38 degrees, like 95, 97 percent of humidity. And you go to pizza where they have the, a wood oven. Yeah, <laughs> it's so freaking warm inside. Okay. I think that question is for you. Which one? The one from the Alka 55. Like in fact, there are already like uh, a lot of overcooking guys out of the fire, so it depends. It, it, like we said, it, you have what, to what was the question? Like will you, you show, show some guys how to overclock later? Overclock? Overclock later? Yeah. <laughs> I don't overclock. even know what that is. <laughs> Probably, I, I don't want to know. I hope it's a typo. Yeah. I, yeah. But yeah, <laughs> there, there are like many, many, many guys <laughs> everywhere, but it's like we said, uh, maybe we could do or overclock if we could do some guides but you have to do it on so many different platforms yeah that would be a lot of work indeed you maybe if maybe a future project or something or whatever or and and teaching people how to overclock on x99 <laughs> might not be the best thing ever because nah. i mean x99 not that many people have this kind of platform yet yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> the, is there booth bay for overcooking? I um, think for overcooking there might be, for overclocking not yet. <laughs> oh wow. <well. clears throat> so let's talk a little bit more about what why we are here actually, the overclocking things. When did you start? Overclocking? Like a year ago maybe? A little bit over a year ago. So like quite serious, serious, serious uh, I'm quite new to this. Um, but I have overclocked my, my PC before, but only on air and nothing really serious. I wasn't going for any records, it was actually just, you know, well, my computer's getting older, games don't run as fast as uh, they should anymore, and I was still in college, didn't have a lot of money, and didn't want to spend a lot of money as well, so um, I said, well, how can I get more performance? Well, maybe I just up the clock on my CPU and see if it, if it helps anything. 
So, and last year I met Roman, uh, which brought me in contact with LN2 overclocking and overclocking for um, for the sheer fun of it, pretty much. So I kind of got hooked on that pretty quick, and now uh, I've met all these great guys over over overclocking all, from all over the world. Like uh, he's from Belgium, he's in Canada. And, uh, I met guys from Taiwan, the United States, all over the place, and it's great to enjoy this um, this common hobby. No, guys, you're not ignored on the live chat. It's just that this uh, we <laughs> actually the one from Postman event is not that bad. We did overcook too much a bit too much yeah. already. <laughs> but <clears throat> we have though have an issue with the mattresses at the bench house, don't we? Yeah. Because actually, yeah, that's that's a good story for the guys. We really? all we all know each other here. Uh, we usually know from uh, from online and so on. Um, but when we come here, it's like okay, I'm just coming here for the week. I don't want to pay for the hotel. It's expensive, especially during that time of uh, of computex because there's a lot of people from abroad uh, coming here. So it's usually the price goes up. So what we do is usually we rent a house and we call that the bench house. And everyone that is uh, an overclocker can just uh, go there and just pay for the night as a reduced price. Yeah. <coughs> Oh, actually, a good question from uh, Alka55. Who are you guys? You didn't, you didn't introduce yourself. I, you did talk about yourself on how you started. But yeah. So you're Tom, uh, PC Games Hardware? Right, I'm Tom. I'm project manager for PC Games Hardware. It's um, probably Germany's largest gaming har hardware-related um, platform. We have a website, of course. You can visit it on pcgh.de. Or we also have a print magazine. Still, actually, there's still people who actually read articles about computers I'm on impressed. printed paper, <laughs> paper, right? Um, yeah, that's me. Hi, and I obviously like pizza. Yeah, everybody does. Well, uh, I'm Lico. That's my nickname. I'm already I'm probably right for the smallest website in Belgium. People also have to be that. Just doing it for fun. It's not my main job anyway because I just like to play with. PC hardware and, and it, it's an easier way to get like samples and stuff like that. Also, part you just of say that's an easy way to get samples. That's the only reason why you keep doing that. Yeah, but you also <laughs> have to think that you put in a lot of effort. Yeah, true. Sure. You can it's, do reviews. It takes a lot of time. It, it's, it takes a lot of time and, and of course the networking and giving feedback and stuff. And also that's how you network. That's how you start because you can't just start in this business. Let's call it a business and just get like everything for free. No. You usually have to give everything. Uh, at in our region, we usually have to give like everything back, and they're doing like the age check. You're what, what, what age, Tom? Don't lie. Okay, I'll, I'm 43. What, what did when, he when, say? When he finishes 18, 18, 43, and you're 18. No. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> okay, I'm 31. 31, 43. You just passed 18, I think. Yeah. yeah, I think I just passed 16. 16. <coughs> so, did you have your... Um, 28, actually. Yeah. Did you have your super sweet 16 then yet already? <laughs> yeah, I threw a big party there. Oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> now, but, oh, that's the fun part of, of, of overclocking. It's not like age related. Usually with yeah. gamers at LAN parties, pretty young guys usually still living with mom and dad and stuff like that and just having fun and, and seems to be uh, the type to the wrong I forgot this. There's ah, no problem. It's match rims. Yeah, it's match rims. <coughs> the only one is one is one is one is. Ah, that, will be down, that will be down as well. And that's the fun part. This is for people of all ages. Right. Yeah. It's, yeah, not, it's not something and Always like that. I just wanted to add that one. People always ask the question, "What's the purpose?" <laughs> and that's the million-dollar question. Like, what's the purpose? Yeah, just having fun. Having fun. Yeah. Having, fun. having fun. I always try to um, explain it to people, like when forum members at our community of PC Games Hardware ask, like, "What the hell is this good for?" I always tell them, or you can't really use it for anything. I always tell them, well, it's like the same thing when I buy a Ferrari. I can't really use it on the road, but it's still well, a shitload of fun. It's fucking awesome, right? <laughs> then there's not 
there's nothing else to it. It's just fun. Or there, and there's no other hobby in the world that would bring you that far and that close to other people. And that close to other people and that cold with LN2 because we are actually playing with liquid nitrogen. It's a cryogenic gas. It's it's something that usually uh, now it's more common to have like other papers. Uh, knowing the distributors and so on to get the, the, the liquid nitrogen. But when we started the first few LN2 testing like 10 years ago, it was very difficult to even explain what we were doing. Yeah. Like people were like, why is not LN2? We just said that to people that transport the sperm from like the, the co to, to another like, farm. Right. To that. And it's like, oh, you want that for what? Putting computers? <laughs> really? <laughs> and then nowadays, like, you just. Cool, you guys, like, okay, I want like 180 liters of LN2 delivered at this place at this time. You guys say, sure, you yeah. there, and that's it. Yeah. <clears throat> and there were some people saying that uh, what's the use for ogre picking? That we were answering from our point of view, uh, more like, of course, it's fun. Yeah, yeah. Right? It's fun. For the industry itself, uh, there is a lot involved in RD. Yeah. Uh, all the special new features that you guys add in the BIOS, some of the settings that you guys actually. 10 years ago, we had to modify the main board. We had to modify physically stuff on the motherboard. Right. We had to uh, remove capacitors, do some voltage modifications, you want to overtake the CPU a little bit more. We had to always find out what was the settings or even sometimes removing capacitors, changing them, stuff like this. Yeah. Nowadays, we don't even change anything on the main board. Why? Because after all those years, all the change that we were pushing for yeah. the past 10 years evolved. Like, the industry evolved at the same time, of course, but we had a huge impact on that. A lot, lot of people don't, don't think about it. But if, you get, if you guys have uh, solid capacitors, uh, uh, gaming with like two old scopes, PCB and so on, that came from the overclocking at that time. Like, that was helping on the memory of overclocking and, and on the power delivery in, in, in that. Mm -hmm. It's just that nowadays, I mean, this industry, like someone have a new feature, then the, in the next iteration, they everyone have it. So then you have something, and then it's always like this, like one iteration after, like one main board after, everyone have the same thing. Yeah. yeah. And nowadays they just try to make the differentiation between the design. Yeah. Um, yeah. Sadly, we saw some very good thing, and sadly. Some oh, very I, I found I saw a very very funny thing actually. No ECS boot. Good luck. Could could be could have been could have been. Uh, I'm, I'm I'm not t here, you know, blaming anybody. I think it's just that some people should rethink the placement of their power connectors on their upcoming motherboards. Yeah. Just, 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 just saying. Just saying. I, I don't know. It's, might might get a bad review or two if they, they won't. Or they might not be able to plug in. The power connector yeah, which is probably going to lead to a pretty bad review because you're. Uh, you great user, like I product uh, probably, yeah. Couldn't use it, automatic fail. <laughs> <laughs> Maximum fail. Deserve an award for that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, the, um, like for example, our our magazine we give out grades like goes from one dot zero zero to six dot zero zero, with six dot zero zero being the worst. And I think we've never ever actually had to give a product anything worse than like a four point something because. Well, even if it sucked, it was at least for maybe for one or two, it, it did the job it was supposed to do. Yeah. It did it badly, but it did at what it was supposed it to do. do it. And we, we never really actually had to really fail anything. We, we have a Dutch invasion in the live chat. Yeah. Yeah, so Tech Insider asked a question because this is just because he's living in the Netherlands. If, I'm, I'm aware indeed of, of, of any overclocking or upcoming overclocking event in the Netherlands. And indeed, uh, Eris Nuppe, he's my team leader for Hardware and for Pro OC. And we have like some stuff going. We have soon have like, a, a, let's say, a team meeting with also the new guys. So, like, I think we'll invite like six or eight guys to Hardware Info headquarters in, in the Netherlands. I don't even know exactly where it is. And just teach them the ropes how to work on LM2. But usually we're like working together with the vendors, so usually with Gigabyte, ASUS, MSI, and try to invite people over. But usually, sadly, we know that these 
events are not announced like months beforehand. They're usually like one or two weeks before the event takes place. Hey, by place. the way, two weeks gonna be there and doing that. Yeah, but usually check out uh, hardware info and stuff like that. They usually have like an announcement if something will happen soon. So check the site out and then keep on indeed uh, watching what's going on. Okay, man, just check it out. So guys, if you if you would like to speak in English, because here there's only maybe one or two guys that can read that. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Tim, do you want to jump in the uh, discussion? Or just eat pizza? Uh, I could have pizza, sure. If there's any left here, do you want pizza? <laughs> yeah, we do. So we're doing the, um, like this kind of uh, talk, open talk with, uh, with the people on the um, okay. on the chat. It's a more relaxed way of doing the commenting. Actually, the, the stuff is a bit, <laughs> a bit too tight. You want it now? <coughs> Oh look, no. Steven Spielberg is yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So that's some of the gear we do use at Overclocking TV to, um, to make the videos. Um, <coughs> you can show it uh, a bit around on the live. See, that's 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 some of the hardware we mostly use for the um, for the video we do. To do some uh, special stuff on it. It's a special little box on the top. Is something. Um, we will uh, not comment too much, that mm -hmm. will help us to do some uh, better life in the near future. But the guy on the, for you guys, the right, plus at the left, he's in fact one of the co-founders. I think you co-founded Overclocking TV together, or, yep. or how did, how did, maybe we can talk about Overclocking TV, how it originated. It where, where, did some it, drama. where did Oh, drama, really? Everybody loves drama. Well, but in the deep, where it came, where, people don't where it came from, right? and... and, and how it developed because like it has become really professional <laughs> you're not only of course covering now overclocking also way more things so maybe you can have like a quick insight well, on, on, on how it went maybe how you guys met <laughs> okay how we, how we that's do oh, that we're talking yeah. the guys thing yeah, 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 it actually yeah. has a link with pizza yeah yeah, yeah. true yeah. so um, six sounds seven. like a lost story now <laughs> <laughs> Six or seven years ago, before um, I was actually studying in Quebec, in Montreal, in the Quebec province. But you can remove the, the, the camera, the, the camera because I cannot see the screen. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> so I was actually studying in Montreal, in the in Quebec area, and Timothée was studying in uh, in the in mm -hmm. Quebec City, in the, in the Quebec province. So it's a French-speaking province of Canada, and we were actually on the same forum and so on. Some point, I said, "Yeah, yeah, gonna do some benching. If you just wanna come over, pass by. Feel free, pass by." He passed by, and we were like, it was like the evening, so we start benching and so on. And we wanted to bench with cold air from the outside. So right. I was just opening the, the window, it was like minus 20 something outside. It was actually decent enough for air cooling in the, yeah. the computer. And we ordered some pizzas, and we actually used the pizza box to do like a, a funnel yeah. between the air cooler and the uh, and the outside. Right. And that was actually so cool that we heard the uh, the CPU cooler like whining. Yeah. Because yeah. of the of the temperature change. Because you had the metal cracking because it went straight from being. A you still have a So it was sub zero outside. Way sub zero. Yeah. 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 Canada's not like a warm place. I think. So ten minutes later, we ended up benching with gloves and our, our jacket inside yeah. the living room. <laughs> Um, after a few hours, we, we went to bed, and there was not a single good score. Well, <laughs> we all have experienced that, yeah. haven't we? Then I stopped benching. Yeah, you already gave up that early. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were streaming. We are streaming. We are streaming. Do you want to join? We are streaming and making. We're looking like goats in a movie or something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. casting couch thing. Yeah, we're not, we are reading the chat. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, actually that's how we met. that's how we met. And so, um, we're having no, we are both French. We are almost the same age. Um, we're at that time we we're both having long hair and <laughs> so that was um, my, beard, people, my beard got longer. Yeah, really? yeah. your hair shorter? No, no. <laughs> they just fall more. Fun. Maybe a bit, a bit less. In the <laughs> so actually, when we uh, the first time we came to Taiwan together, it was like, hey, are you guys twins? No. <laughs> 
So that's how we um, we met, and um, that was on uh, old forums and so on. Without too much drama, we used to be part of another website, and they wanted yeah. to stay like 100% French, and we wanted to do in English speaking videos, even if our English was not that good. Well, you have but to think back then we were the only one doing videos. It was yeah. very new as well. Yeah. Like uh, YouTube didn't exist. Yeah. You have to imagine. <laughs> I, I remember we did. That was a time before YouTube? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. there was a time. No, um, no shitty cat movies and stuff to spend time with. Oh, really? Well, that was just. Yeah. Ima imagine how people were productive back then. <laughs> 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 they were actually doing shit. <laughs> And um, and after that we were like there there was some issue and uh, like didn't want it to do the same and exactly five year and one month ago we found it over Flickr TV that was actually the Monday of the Gamers Assembly okay so that's the day that it officially officially took off by itself and uh, and went this direction and I still remember you know you're talking about YouTube but even Twitch. Twitch that was the guest from Justin Bell TV, and I remember I was um, using Justin Bell TV like the, the first few months after that was like in, in beta, right? And I still remember all the livestream.com that is now um, it's, they still call livestream.com, but they have like a, a broader audience that they, they had before. I was part of the beta for like I think like nine months, so we were doing livestream like. I was like, we have to do that because otherwise it's boring. We have to, to make sure that we can do over 13 live. And there's still a long road ahead, but I'm sure that um, in the next few months we'll uh, catch it right and make sure that you can have like uh, all the viewing information that we need to, to, to see for that. So that's pretty much the story behind over 13 TV. Yeah, I'm very touched. Two guys. Yeah, really <coughs> Actually, we're at three people, but it's um, mainly just doing the, uh, the yeah. work. Yeah. Yeah. And that's it. That's it. Do you have any more questions? Or maybe people on the live chat have uh, some questions. There's some a good uh, a good joke by El Gapo mm -hmm. over casting couch. And I have no clue what he's talking about. I was uh, I think this one was, uh, <laughs> El Gapo was funny. We're sitting on mass man. No, uh, mm, mm, okay. There would be there no more no mass man. Yeah. <laughs> Potato couch. It's so weird that everybody like takes on mass man, <laughs> but it just tries to get. Everybody together and, and try the best you can. That's usually really? how it goes. That's usually how it goes. Well, yeah, it's been uh, more than 30 minutes already. Let's take a short break. Go get some uh, more pizza, more, some, more, uh, more food, more food, some um, some drinks. Yeah. And we're gonna come back with uh, some more talk like this. So keep on pushing the questions to the live chat. If you guys want to go back benching, it's fine. We're just gonna bring some new people in the, in the couch. Maybe we can ask the India guys. Yeah, yeah. They Actually, come over. it would be uh, really fun if we can uh, if we can get if them. We can yeah. Ask them and see just how. Yeah, more food. <laughs> <laughs> so see you guys in a minute. See ya. Mm -hmm.
Hey guys, Truthman and Ligoft. Uh, that's just to say you that we were supposed to redo um, a more like a talk show and uh, we uh, actually have to um, go to bed because we are taking turn on who's um, is the like keeping the place safe. Um, I'm gonna aim to bed. I think League of gonna aim to bed quite soon too. Quite we soon didn't add uh, much sleep for the past uh, at least past 72 hours. That's getting to that's starting to become a very uh, hard time. And we want to provide you a good live experience tomorrow. Um, so here it's already midnight. Uh, it's not that late, but considering that we did uh, only slept two hours for the past 72 hours. Then that's becoming a bit too uh, a bit too hard for us, especially to entertain you guys, uh, especially on the on the live. Um, we will put the live on uh, on the old, so that means the just the, the camera views will be rotating and rotating by themselves all night, and we'll come back tomorrow at 10 a.m. local time here in Taipei, Taiwan. If you guys want to know more about the schedule, you can always. Um, I will maybe even. Put that in, in the corner. Yeah, we we'll just add them into uh, into into the uh, the schedule. So uh, we're gonna start at 10 a.m. local time here. It's UTC plus eight. Um, uh, I don't know for you guys what time it is, but for now for us it's exactly in 10 hours. So see you guys in 10 hours. Until then, keep pushing it. And we need some sleep.